soil, and climate change. We now know how important soil is for plants, but that's not the only reason soil is so important. Did you know that soil is also a solution for climate change? That's right, the top six inches of soil right below your feet is super important for all life on Earth, and it's one of the best solutions to fight climate change. But how? Earlier, we learned about organic matter, which is this mix of living and dead things in our soil. The organic matter is very important for all life on Earth because organic matter is full of carbon. All living things on Earth are made of carbon. Carbon is all around us in non-living things too, like the ocean, air, and even rocks. You can even see pure carbon in the tip of your pencil. Carbon can come in different forms in the soil or bonded with oxygen in the air as carbon dioxide. Animals, like you and me, breathe out carbon dioxide and plants breathe it in. Plants use this carbon dioxide from the air along with sunlight and water to make food during photosynthesis. Plants then store carbon in their leaves and in their fruits and their seeds and their roots, which removes the carbon dioxide from the air and stores it in the soil. When plants die and fruits and vegetables rot, they turn into organic matter and their carbon stays buried in the soil. This is called storing carbon in the soil. For hundreds of millions of years, plants and animals have lived and died and become organic matter. Over time, this organic matter gets buried deep below the Earth's surface. These remains get squished and cooked by lots of pressure and heat, and then they turn into oil, coal, and natural gas. We call these products fossil fuels because they're created from the fossils of dead plants and animals. We use fossil fuels like oil and gas in our cars, boats, and airplanes. Fossil fuels are also a very common source of electricity and heat for our homes. As we use fossil fuels, we then produce carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. So what does this have to do with climate change? When we burn the fossil fuels, this carbon that was stored in the fossil fuels gets released back into the sky. It forms with oxygen and becomes carbon dioxide. Greenhouse gases stay in the Earth's atmosphere and trap heat from escaping the Earth. Some carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is good, but too much carbon dioxide can be dangerous for all life on Earth. Humans have been producing too much carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases, and now too much heat is being trapped and the Earth is getting too warm. But soil can help because soil is a solution to climate change. Soil is so good at storing carbon and getting it out of the atmosphere that it is called a carbon sink. For millions of years, our soil has been storing carbon. Now there is more carbon in the soil than in the plants on Earth and the atmosphere combined. And the more organic matter that a soil has in it, the more carbon that it has. There is one small or big problem though. We're losing the organic matter and we're killing our soil. What, how? It's so valuable. Many years of cutting down trees without replanting them, plowing fields to grow food and erosion from wind and water have caused damage to the soil, which releases even more carbon into the atmosphere. But there's good news. We now know how important soil is and we know how to put carbon back in the soil where it belongs. Scientists, farmers, foresters, and conservationists are all working over, all over the world to protect and care for our soil. Farmers are using cover crops to cover bare soil and using techniques like no-till farming so that the soil isn't disturbed. The pastures and ranch land that livestock graze on also help to store carbon in the soil. Farmers also plant rows of trees to prevent wind, and they're studying the microorganisms in our soil too. Scientists and conservationists are working to protect natural spaces and restore wetlands, and foresters are replanting trees to replace the ones we have cut down. So what else can we do to help? 
We can help by planting trees as well as flowers and gardens in empty areas and replacing our lawns to help create healthier ecosystems and habitats. Planting things also helps to cover the soil and protect from erosion. That way, plants can work to restore carbon into the soil as well. We can make sure to compost our food scraps. We can use our compost to add organic matter back to the soil. We can respect the soil and tell our friends and family about the ways they can protect the soil too. One of our greatest weapons in the fight against ch climate change is right under our feet. When we preserve, protect, and nourish the soil on our planet, it will do the same for us.